What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Big Noah, back at it again. Oh, man, there's a whole bunch of controversy around Gucci these days. They put out uh, um, a shirt which uh, comes out like a turtleneck. It has like a, a red um, opening for the mouth, which looks like, people are saying, it looks like a coon. It looks like what they depicted as like a Jim Crow type character. Oh man, and a lot of people are feeling disrespected over it. And a lot of people are boycotting Gucci over it. Let's check out these comments that um, uh, activist uh, David Banner made about the the, the recent um, fire that Gucci is uh, under. Let's go ahead and delve in. A brand or, or a business will tell us they're sorry. Racism is acquired. You're not born being a racist pig ass fuck. It's acquired. So you don't make a mistake and do no racist shit. Especially when you've seen other brands make the same. And go uh, cop that God box that um, uh, David Banner's album. Fucking mistake. Doing the same shit. You're a racist fuck and I don't want your apology. I'm never buying you shit again. Um, Houston's, the restaurant in Atlanta that did that racist shit. I don't fuck with them no more. I don't go there at all. I and shout out to Bernard R. Knox, you know what I'm saying? Love Waffle House. Don't get it fucked up. I don't fuck with them no more. It ain't no sorry. Like, what the fuck, man? I don't, I don't get us, man. Like, it ain't no time. If you sorry, build a fucking school. If you sorry... Donate 17, 18, 19 million fucking dollars. They don't market towards us. And hit that donation button, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to everybody who donate, who's been supporting, you know, the movement. Until, you know, their stock is going down. And then they go get a couple black stars. Or they go get one fucking black designer that allowed them to, and allow them to design one fucking um run of their clothes and then black people start back buying them again and then they go back to laughing you know kanye like nike did like adidas did but that's part of business you know i can't get mad at that but at the same time you got to be sensitive to history and know that certain things are unacceptable you know and shit. i used to live in new york i stayed in new york for six years and this is right around the time that, you know, I did stunting as a habit. So I was buying that kind of shit at the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm popping. I remember the black folks in Louis Vuitton who worked in the store told me, Banner, they don't like us, man. They look at us with disgust when we come in the stores, when the rappers come in the stores. You know, no matter how much money that they spend in, like they, 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 I, from that point, I started noticing that shit. How they look at us when we come in that store. Fuck you. Whether we want to admit this or not, in most cases, it's a self-esteem problem. You know? It is, you know. I mean, I buy Gucci, you know, this, that, and the other. But at the same time, it's more like, guys do it to show, okay, I've established myself in certain areas, I'm able to afford it, you know, to attract a certain amount of females so she can feel secure and comfortable. It's like, oh, okay, he's, you know, he's well off, so I, I don't have to worry about a nigga, you know, going in my purse when I fall asleep. <laughs> Most of us, not all of us, um, we, we don't buy these things because they're high quality. We don't even test the quality. Um, we buy it because rich white people wear that shit. And we feel like... I disagree. I already told you how I feel about the security type um, feel as far as, you know, okay, I'm, if I'm driving a Porsche and, you know what I'm saying, I just pull up on somebody, it's a certain level of security, like, okay, he has it. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's not a petty thief or... A rapist. I want somebody to feel comfortable around me. Me personally, if I buy something high end, is you know I could buy something high end from Nigeria, a high end 
dashiki made in Nigeria, not made in China. You know what I'm saying? Not none of this other stuff. You know, just you know, because you know you never see no white person wearing nothing like that. But it's different reasoning. But we're seeing this brother's perspective. It's interesting. You know, everybody has their own world view depending on where they've been in their life, in their, you know, situation, whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? I love listening to all brothers' opinions or everybody's, you know, perspective from what they've seen and what they've experienced. You know, at the end of the day, I'm sure Gucci's going to get more black shoppers. I'm sure Louis Vuitton going to get a lot of black shoppers. You know, but those high-end stores, you know, I like to shop online. I might get something that I see is nice or whatever. But at the same time, you got to respect me. If I'm in a store, you have to. That's a, just a must. It's not even a question about it. You know, if somebody's ready to die on the spot, you ain't got no choice but to respect them or kill or die. But it shouldn't have to come to that over something so petty but these brands need to hire people that are aware of their history not no coon that's just gonna lay down and don't voice their opinion in the meeting room somebody who's aware and say okay this is unacceptable this is just disrespectful you, you, you can't put this out there you know they need to hire more people like that aware woke people so they don't have any backlash like this unless they're just looking for racist customers but a lot of these racist customers or hicks they can't afford you know things like that but what do y'all think about this whole gucci um uproar let me know in the comments below like and subscribe as well face the god like you slipped on ice mm. all these checks you know i get it right